Salutations my Fallout lovers, it is Maddie here today with a Fallout 4 tutorial. Today I will be teaching you how to build your own mass producing conveyor belt line in Fallout 4 thanks to the Contraptions DLC. A lot of people were confused how exactly all the systems in this work, so I figured I'd make a quick video explaining how it goes. So what you want to start off by doing is going into your power section under machinery and that's where you'll find all your conveyor belt stuff. Under machinery, you're going to have basically the starting part of your conveyor belt. This is what pumps out the item. So choose whatever you want to pump out. Me personally, I thought the most useful thing to create was obviously ammunition. I figured I find enough weapons and armor out in the world where I don't have to produce that stuff. Where I thought ammo would be the best place to go. You could also produce clothes and stuff. Deck out your entire settlement with universal clothing or weapons. It's up to you. So for me, I chose ammunition. But then after you place that down, you have to build the conveyor belt itself. So go to the conveyor belt section and you can build it around your entire settlement however you want for me personally I just build a short line because I think that's just the easiest way to do it and then this is where people started to get confused because they're like okay now how exactly do the items dump off what I do is build a conveyor belt lift which attaches to the end of the conveyor belt line wherever you want to place that and then it loads up into the hopper in which the hopper dumps out into a certain area now you have to have all of these powered up so I highly recommend building a large generator or more than likely if you have the wasteland workshop dlc you're going to want to put down a fusion generator and just run a bunch of conduits throughout your entire settlement that's the easiest way to do it that's the neatest way to do it as well so yeah attach that lift and then attach the hopper to the lift itself and what happens now is as your conveyor belt starts producing items it runs along the belt itself and then rises up through the lift into the hopper and the hopper dumps it out into areas that you would like now you can strategically use items in your settlement itself to have the hopper dump the items into you you can change the force and the timer do not forget to attach a terminal to your conveyor belt line this is a necessity because this is how you determine certain little things like the force at which it comes out of the hopper the amount of time it takes for it to dump out items items outside of the hopper so it can either stack up on items as you produce a bunch from your conveyor belt or it can just keep spinning them out faster and faster also it chooses what exactly you want to build because it's not just ammo you can choose the type of ammo you want to build inside the terminal itself so do keep that in mind and make sure you attach all of these through the wires through your generator system and all of a sudden now you have a functioning conveyor belt system in your settlement and honestly it's actually pretty useful I do like this quite a bit because for me during far harbor as i played on very hard i used my overseer's guardian quite a bit so i did run through 308 ammo very very fast and for me personally being able to mass produce that now at 10 bullets at a time is absolutely fantastic so i am welcoming this addition indeed once you select whatever type of ammo or item you want to create in the terminal it would list the materials that you're going to need and this is the only tedious part of the creation process because now you're going to have to go to your settlement storage so go to a place that you have lots of item store away at this is why my main storage area is indeed sanctuary because I have all my items there no matter what and go ahead dip in there get what you need you're gonna have to read a little bit you're gonna have to organize but all you have to do is take all the items you need dump them inside the conveyor belt itself by transferring the items over and then you'll see the ammo start pumping out or whatever you wanted to create and there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is exactly how the conveyor belt system in Fallout 4's Contraptions DLC works. I hope this helped for those of you who were confused. It is a pretty easy to figure out process, but I still wanted to teach you guys just in case because some people were confused about little things here or there. You can get a lot more complicated than what I showed you guys. This is just a simplified version of it. You can make turns and spins splitters and sorters inside the conveyor belt system but for me personally I just like to keep it simple just put down the thing that pumps out the item and then a couple of lines a lift a hopper and I am good to go just power that all up with the terminal next to it and you're good be sure to let me know your thoughts on the contraption DLC in the comments down below other than that be sure to follow me on Twitter like me on Facebook the links are in the description down below check out triggerbound.com the place by Bethesda fans for Bethesda fans other than that stay sexy stay active I love you all peace